Your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Hello? Hey, Krisha. It's Jeff, Jen, Fritch, and Tim at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. Jeff and Jen, <laughs> I'm good. Good morning. You got a few minutes? Are you willing to come on the radio um, with us? Join our radio family uh, for a chat, a family chat? A little togetherness time. <laughs> sure, well, we can have a family chat. So we had a boy call us about you. and he likes you i guess you guys had plans you met up for drinks but then i don't know you took ill or something and had to leave and then he hasn't heard from you since and he wanted to a make sure everything was okay and b make sure it wasn't something he said or did because it's left him confused i'm talking about brendan yeah um it was just like a, a mildly embarrassing uh, night, but it's it's a story I'll I'll tell you guys. Yeah, because um, I mean, it's after he told us what happened, it just left us scratching our heads, and we're dying to know what went down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like, just looking to have a a night, you know, a good night with a guy. You yeah, know, you get it. Yeah. So we met on Tinder and for a week, you know, he's sending me all these like pics and like dirty, dirty pics. Um, and we just kind of got this conversation where he was telling me everything he was going to do to me. And he kept telling me he has this like super impressive dick. and he even sent me some video of it. I mean, honestly, it was hot. I was like, this is what I'm looking for. I'm just you know, trying to have a night like this. So he's sending me stuff like, I don't know, four or five times a day. And I was like pumped to meet him and looking forward to having this like really hot, sexy night with him. So the stuff Um, he was texting you, the verbiage, uh, one would be like a golden book. Ten would be like (laughs) crazy, nasty porn. Where, like, where was he sending you the, you know... Um, I, I mean, like, it's pictures of his like, it's porn. <laughs> I feel like a video of, Well, like, I know, but she, she said he was sending, yeah. like, you know, dirty talk. Is he saying, I can't wait to be with you? Or is he saying, I can't wait to do and then... Can you read us some? Do you have any handy? I mean, he was just saying, like, we talked about, like, body parts and where he's going to, like, put different body parts and... You know, just different stuff he'd like I could be wearing or like. Oh, what about moist? <laughs> oh, I like moist. Moist. So what happened next? Like, where was the letdown? Does he have a small? <laughs> um, I never found out. So I get to the bar and he's sitting in the corner. And it's just that like the his personality and the way that he carried himself were nothing like his messages this like complete opposite he was all like sitting there shoulder slouched he was like curled up into himself like he was hiding and he was biting his nails which i just i don't like um (laughs) and i walked up to him and he like reached out to shake my hand and but his hand he like had this soft wrist i guess it just felt like I don't know, like shaking hands with a girl. So you um, walked into that bar expecting to find this yeah. big alpha male that was going to throw you up against the wall yeah. and do dirty things to you all night long. The confidence from the text message didn't exist in real life. Exactly. It was okay. just like, who is this person who seems like shy or scared? Like I was expecting this incredible Hulk guy and this, I was waiting for this like sex machine to come out that's like, <laughs> like i'm ready to take you it does seem like that personality goes with a certain physical type yeah like in my opinion in my past 
like when someone is sending you like a super <laughs> pick, like they kind of have that same aura about them, like kind of like a <laughs> vibe. But like she's also a seen them like from the waist up in pictures, no? Yeah, but like this is different. If someone's like presenting themselves like this. Assertive. Yes, assertive person. And you go and you meet them and they're a little more frail or awkward in public. You're like, where's your it's their inner, you know, like, he's got you? An, 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 that inner Incredible Hulk. And you were saying that you were kind of waiting for, yeah. you know, Bruce Banner to become the Hulk. And after three drinks, he still didn't show up. He was still basement comic book nerd. Well, let's ask Brendan. Brendan, was that your <laughs> you were sending her pictures of or someone else's you borrowed? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me. That was all me. 100%. And mm. sorry, it's your loss. Oh. How do you explain the difference in the personality you conveyed via text message versus the, the guy she met at the bar? I might be on the quiet side, but I don't think it's, I think it's not really truish what she was saying. I'm more like, uh, I'm more like brooding. Women seem to like that. And they told me that's how I am. So You're brooding. If that's He's a not, brooder. He's a brooder. I, you know, whatever. Brooding can be very sexy. All of the text messages you were sending her with the dirty talk and the, the plans of all these things that you were going to do to her, was that all stuff that came from you? And was it original material or was it something that... <laughs> Did you have plans you know, on you, doing all that like your friend stuff? feeding you lies yeah, was or your friend feeding yeah. you or was, you know, was it, was it something you read somewhere I, I else? No, I certainly didn't plagiarize Penthouse Forum. <laughs> Penthouse Forum? Is it still a thing? No idea. Well, it's unfortunate that neither of you got the evening that you were hoping for. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Because, you know, I bet you were both really excited about that because that sounded like it was going to be really something. Yeah. And we've heard before from some women that the quiet guys, mm. maybe, I'm not saying you are, Brendan, but, you know, maybe the more nerdy guy that doesn't get to that level too often, man, when it's go time, Watch out. Yeah. They work harder. Yeah. Because they have They're to. ready to go. Has yeah. that been your all's experience in life, Jen, Tim, Jeff, oh, I am when that it guy, comes to so women? Yeah. Well, <laughs> would it have come out of him, you know, once he got into the bedroom? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, like yeah. building up. Yeah. 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 But she's like, how many drinks do I got to take to get you there? You know what I'm saying? Come on, yeah. dude. Well, maybe he has to take his pants off first. I should have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> So that happened about eight months ago. Fast forward to today. Krisha, welcome back to the Jeff and Jen Morning Show. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing awesome. Doing good. What you been up to since the last time we spoke? I've been feeling kind of bad about how everything happened last time we spoke. Um, like maybe I was a bit mean. And um, I know some of my friends heard me on the air and they thought that too. So I went back and listened to the podcast and I just, I kept thinking about our day. Like, you know, was there something I missed? Did I, you know, miss evidence that, you know, maybe he is this like sexy alpha male that I thought he was, you know? And, um, yeah, I couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you so tried, you searched, you dug. I, get I it. did. I, I really did. And, I don't know. I just don't know how like someone can pretend to be something totally different than they are. Like it was just, it, it was just like two different people. Right. So I don't, I don't know if he's like encountered this before in the dating world. And, you know, I mean, how many, I just started thinking, you know, like how many dates has he been on where the exact same thing happened or am I the only one who's done this to him? So yeah, it's a tricky thing, but I've been out with a few guys since then and you know, nothing special, but I just kept thinking about him and wondering if there was more to the story there. So what'd you do? You so, call him up? You look him up? Well, I went out with a few girlfriends to a Halloween party. We went as the Spice Girls, really retro and fun. The Spice Girls? Um, Cute. Yeah. Which one were you? Throw back to the 90s. Yeah, old school. I was Baby Spice, and I looked really cute. I'm not going to lie. I was looking good that night. It happens. <laughs> but I was just looking, you know, for a fun night with friends, nothing crazy. And then I meet this guy, and he's dressed as one of the guards from Squid Game. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so you, you can't see his face. Right. His face was covered, but he had, like, the sexiest voice ever. And I thought for a minute it might be Jeff, but <laughs> I knew that probably wasn't. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I was like, no, it's not his thing. To, um, yeah, no. That I, wouldn't be Jeff. Yeah. No. The, the, no. The, the costume, that's your, no. <laughs> He's not going to. are a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I thought. But um, so this guy kept walking by me and saying all these things in his like deep voice. He was saying like, I want to make you my baby. And I he was saying, like, I think you, baby, need a good spanking, like stuff like that. Oh, maybe it was me. And- <laughs> <laughs> Those sound like cheesy lines that you would lay on Baby Spice. Know. She was my favorite Spice Girl. Yes, she was. Uh, she's the cutest, like, <laughs> you know. So anyway, I ended up talking to him for a really long time. And we were pretty drunk. And I ended up making a move and told him to take me home and, yeah, spank me if, if he's been talking about it. Mm. And he said he would on one condition that I kept my heels on and he kept his mask on from the nose up. Oh, so um, you're you're agreeing to this sight unseen still. Sexy stranger I, sex. <laughs> exactly. It was sexy stranger sex. It was Halloween. I don't know. It just felt like... You can just feel more adventurous, and also alcohol was involved. So I was like, okay. God, that's brave. It is. <laughs> I mean, I think the alcohol helps you get brave. It had mm-hmm. to. I got to see the face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it was just, and also it just, it felt, I don't know, really sexy the way he was talking to me. So I was like down for it. Um, I immediately think of the Spider-Man upside down kiss. Do you remember with oh, Tobey yeah. Maguire and Kirsten Dunst? And she pulled his mask. He's hanging upside down by his little spidey webs. And she yeah just pulls his mask down, which is actually up. Yeah. And then, you know, kisses his mouth and then mm-hmm. he shoots back up. That's always a super sexy scene. Yep. I don't know. I got to see who I'm hooking up with. <laughs> Does it matter if it's good? <laughs> right? Anyway, but we, um, we like went at it for three hours. and Three hours? Was, wow. Yeah. With masks on and everything? Yeah. Or his, I mean, I didn't have a mask Oh, well, yes, on. yeah. But I mean, honestly, it was some of the hottest sex of my life. It was unbelievable. Like, he knew what he was doing, for sure. But at the end of the three hours, he was putting on his costume and he was getting ready to leave. And I just asked him if I could see him again. And he said no. Just, and then I was like, OK. And then I asked if I if he could at least take the mask off. And you guessed it. It was him. That's one of those dun, dun, dun <laughs> moments. So what did you do? <laughs> oh Gotta God, go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Well, there was that alpha guy that you had been talking to on the text messages or the messenger app mm-hmm. or whatever. There he was. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I just sat there naked under the sheets with shoes on. And all I could do was I was just apologizing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. And he was cool about it. He actually smiled and he just was like, I had something to prove and that I and that I shouldn't be so quick to judge. Oh, wow. Um, wow. So wow. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. What do you say at that point? I, I, I didn't. I mean, I had apologized. So I just I got up and kissed him. Then he left and we haven't spoken since. Wow. So which I totally understand. But I'm just a little disappointed. Sure. Yeah. Sam. Wow. Mm. Wow. He had something to prove. And I guess he knew. I'm like, yeah, mask is fine. Keep it on. Um, which I, I wonder I what, I I wonder what would have earlier. happened. If, I wonder if you would have not agreed to the mask thing. If yeah. he would have like either taken the mask off at the party and revealed himself there or if he, you know, what he would have done. Well, he probably didn't think he'd have a chance with a mask off. No. Mm. Yeah, That's what would you point. have done after all the after all the you know the playfulness at the party? If he would have taken his mask off and revealed himself there, do you think you would have invited him back to your place at that point? It's hard to say. Like, I I feel like I was so like ready to go and like into it at the time that I feel like I would have been like, yeah, let's see, like. The first, and I, I did feel bad about the first date. So it's like, yeah, I feel like I would have given him a chance. And then, like, maybe the first time was a fluke, and mm. let's see what you got. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So have you thought about reaching back out to him, or have or you just kind of like, okay, he's made his point, he's done, there's no... Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I don't want to beg him to... Like, I asked him already, and he said no. Right. Um, but I don't know if, like, a few days, like, if he's changed his mind after some time, but it just felt like he just wanted to prove a point. Yeah. Did you? How was your performance? I mean, I no complaints. I mean, it <laughs> seemed like he was enjoying himself as well. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. It's just one of those things, I guess. Yeah. Well, if you watch Squid Games, you know that there's a lesson you're supposed to take out of it after all the episodes. And I oh, guess is there a lesson? There's a lesson there, and there's a lesson for you as well. And what do you think that lesson is? If he seems like a freak and an alpha male on the text message, and then he's a dud at dinner. Tell him to put a costume on. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. There is something that happens on Halloween when you're in costume and in character. You just kind of throw a little more caution to the wind. You don't feel like yourself. Yeah. Yes. You feel like you can act badly because you're not yourself. You're yep. actually naughty Dorothy or bad bat girl or whatever, you know? Yep. So true. Anything goes. Well, thank you for the update, Krisha. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Happy to talk to you guys. Yeah, what a great a wild story. story. What a great story to tell friends. Yeah. To tell the oh, grandkids. Tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, sell it to Lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, Krisha, thank you as always for putting yourself out there and giving us the scoop. It was great to reconnect with you. Sure thing. It was. Yeah, and thanks for coming on Second Date Update you. Update Week. Sure, thanks for having me. And if you missed any part of that, we'll uh, replay it for our incoming 8 o'clock listeners in uh, about a half hour or less. In the meantime, if we can do a second date update for you, shoot us an email. Jeff and Jen, give us a brief synopsis of uh, how it all went down, where things stand now. And what you need from us. Right. We're here to serve you. That's what we We're public service. That's right. Or something like that. Uh, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. This message is brought to you by Regeneron. If you have diabetes, listen closely because your ears could help your eyes. Excess sugar from diabetes could lead to eye damage and vision loss, even blindness, and you might not even notice it at first. So remember, now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is especially important with diabetes. See a path forward with actions and potential treatment options that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Go see an eye care specialist and visit nowic.com to take charge of your eyesight. That is N-O-W-E-Y-E-S-E-E.com.